Hey, this is Sharon Doyle with the Diversity News TV. We're here at the She Rocks Awards in Anaheim Convention Center, and the red carpet is getting crazy. As you can see, the stars are starting to come. So stay tuned for Diversity News TV. And Queen Marie Burgess, reporting for Diversity News TV. You know, I couldn't even count them on one hand. Now, a few have come back with social media, and there were a few I stayed in contact with, but in general, there were very few folks that were still there as friends. Not very many, though. And I, I have to say, I felt a little heartbroken. You know, I thought that these, these people were my pals, you know? But I have to say, throughout it all, I got to visit Lisa Fox, starting with when she was working with Ryan Seacrest, and I visited her, and, and, and in the studio, on air and off air, Lisa and I really connected, you know? We talked about life on the air and off the air, we laughed, we told stories, we caught up, and you know what? We still do. She, Lisa Fox is the person that I was looking for in my path. I was meeting TV hosts, radio personalities, but Lisa, is a prime example, one of the best examples, probably the only example, of a person who had the heart that I was looking for. You know, she was somebody who made conversation on the radio that sounds friendly and entertaining and energetic, but when the on-air light was off, she was still herself. One person I spoke to about Lisa, the main thing that he kept saying over and over and over again was, she cares. And it's true, Lisa is a caring and engaging friendly person. She is a friend, a true friend. I really respect her for that, and that makes me so happy that I get that friendship. We celebrated together then, and we celebrate today her successes, my successes, putting out records, her opening up restaurants, a good hair day, a good selfie, you know, you name it, she's, she's the real deal. And like I said, when I reached out to a few friends to make sure that she wasn't just showing me that good selfie face, um, but time and time again, I heard about what a real person she is. <coughs> that in the middle of all this Hollywood magic, she is a real person. One friend said to me, and I will quote this, she said, she cares to a fault with no alternative motives and goes above and beyond with the people that she connects with. She sacrifices for her integrity and sticks to her guns. That's what she said. And you know what, she is there. She's there for the, her fans on the radio and she's completely uncompromising. Also, you might not know, but her philanthropy is a really big part of her. She's so giving. And I don't, not only does she give of her time, but she gets very involved with these organizations she supports. She gets to know the, the, the people who are involved in the organizations. It's not just putting her name on an invitation. She, she really becomes personally involved. So I love Lisa Fox. She's true. We see eye to eye. And although she's always got a new, sli a, a new project up her sleeve, she's not what she's doing to get to another, she's not doing what she's doing to get to another place. She's in the place. And that's why I love her. I want to honor her tonight with the Dreaming Out Loud Award. Congratulations to someone who couldn't deserve it more, Lisa Fox. <laughs> working tonight. The stage is so gorgeous. Everyone's so amazing. Um, and I'm just so grateful for the platform of radio. You know, I know a lot of us have been through a lot of crazy stuff in our lives, and I really feel like radio is that, uh, that two-way conversation with people. I always envision um, when I bring my happy uh, A-game, I, I can be in a really bad place, but radio, I just picture someone in their car having a really crappy day, going through really heavy stuff back in college in your crappy car and you can only afford talk ramen and you're just in that place and someone on the radio can say that, that one thing that lifts you up and makes you feel like you're not alone. 
and uh, then I play Taylor Swift, and it's all better. It's a happy, it's a better world. Thank you, Taylor. Um, and it's just like that great place where I can um, sometimes say something smart or silly or expose the world to great artists like Lisa Lowe and amazing charities, and even sometimes make out with some rock stars. That's not a bad thing, right? Make out with rock stars. Hey, rock star or two or three or you know, I'll wait for the book. Um, and then I want to thank my company that I work for, you know, God bless corporate America, um, iHeartMedia. I've actually been with them as we've changed names over the years, like since 1997. And, um, and they're teaching me now how to Snapchat at 46. Thank you for that. Um, but I also appreciate my boss, Andrew Jeffries, because in a world where, you know, right now I'm doing my own show, and it is a lot of like upbeat, fun, fun, um, happy pop songs. But when real things happen in the world, um, you know, there's a lot of unfortunate things happening in the world, like the Boston bombing and, and a lot of these shootings and things. So they trust me, oh, don't toss it to the news station because she doesn't have a brain. They, they let me articulate and use my brain. Like, yes, I went to college, thank you, I can say things. So they trust me to handle and tackle important and the fun and, and everything in between. So I do appreciate iHeartMedia for all that. And hopefully 20 more years of employment! They're watching, hope they're watching. And, uh, and, and so I just want to thank you. Uh, to my amazing friends and my friends at my table, Wendy and Dr. Steve, thanks for the Botox. Uh, and Phil, we love you. Oh, Botox parties, the invites are coming later. Um, but also, most importantly, when young girls ask me, hey, I want to get into radio, and I want to be a DJ, or I want to be at Ryan Seacrest, or I want to go to Ryan's Mansion, or when all those things, uh, you know, silly things and fun things come up, I say, no, you can't, but maybe later. Um, I say, do what, do what I did, I'm sure do what Lisa did and a lot of people in this room, you know, show up early, leave late, ask questions, you know, do more, work harder, be real, don't be afraid, you know, just jump out there and get in there and um, just, you know, don't lie, don't backstab, be a real person who busts your ass and you can do great things, maybe one day you'll be on this stage.